endurance treads are our modern, thick treads used in outdoor staircases. While they are thermally modified to resist moisture, rot, mildew, and insects, sometimes a board within the tread malfunctions or doesn't perform as well as it should. Rather than replacing the entire tread, we have created a system that can isolate and replace the boards that underperform, giving you a warranty repair that is both effective and efficient. In this video, we have created a 2x12 jig so we can place the treads in an area with perfectly square, flush edges. We begin by disassembling the treads. The six boards that form the tread are held together by four 11-inch lag bolts. These bolts are able to sit flush with the tread due to the indents that are pre-drilled in the back stave. There are three different types of staves that come in the assembly of your endurance tread your front stave, your middle staves, and your back stave. The front stave has a smooth face with four D-shaped steel rings on the back. These are pre-anchored at the back of the front tread and are where the lag bolts will terminate. The back stave has four two-inch indents allowing the lag bolts to be seated flush into the tread. There are also four smooth holes which point towards the front nose of the tread. The middle staves have four 9 16 inch holes on both sides of the board. These boards can be placed in any order as long as they are in the middle of the tread. Step 1. Assemble your back stave. Beginning with your back stave, set it on its side with the four 2 inch indents facing you. Moving from right to left, insert each of the 11 inch lag bolts all the way through the holes. Make sure that the washers are attached. Once all four are in place, flip the board upward so that the lag bolts are facing up. Take the four large washers and place one over each of the four lag bolts. These function as a buffer between the boards and do not need to be tightened or screwed. Step two, assemble your middle staves. Now that you have your first set of washers in place, set the next board on top followed by the four large washers. It may be helpful to start at one end and wiggle the board as you place it. As you can see, it doesn't matter which way you put the stave on, as long as it lines up moving from the center outward. Repeat these steps for each of the middle staves. Step three, assemble your front stave. Once you have installed all the middle staves, you are ready to install the front stave. At this point, there are no more washers. The last set of washers are the threaded D-rings that are already pre-attached to the backside of the front stave. Place the tread on the jig. Once in the jig, tighten each of the four lag bolts two to three turns by hand to get the threading started. As you tighten them by hand, watch the front end to make sure that the bolts are engaging with the D-rings correctly. Now that all four are started, Push it against the jig to apply tight pressure and ensure that all the staves are at a true 90 degree angle. Step 4. Tightening your lag bolts. Grab your impact driver and beginning with your second bolt, tighten the lag bolt. Alternate tightening your lags beginning with the second, then the fourth, then the first, and finally the third. Push down on the top of the tread as you tighten them. Step 5 final tightening. Once all four lag bolts have been installed, pick up your torque wrench and set it at 60 pounds. Start with lag number three and tighten until you hear it click twice. Once tightened, move back to lag number one, then number four, and finally ending on lag number two.